3 raised to power s plus 9 raised to power s is equal to 27 raised to power s. We have the given equation 3 raised to power s plus 9 raised to power s is equal to 27 raised to power x. Then we have 3 raised to power x plus 9 raised to power s minus 27 raised to power s is equal to 0. Then we have 3 raised to power s plus 9 raised to power s is the same thing as 3 raised to power 2s minus 27 raised to power s is the same thing as 3 raised to power 3x is equal to what? 0. Then remember that if you have a raised to power n raised to power m is same thing as a raised to power m raised to power n, which is sort of a raised to power n m. Then we have t raised to power s plus t raised to power s square minus t raised to power x raised to power t is equal to zero. Then from here, we say let y is equal to t raised to power x. Then we have y plus y square minus y cube is equal to zero. Let's rearrange this. We have y raised to power t minus y square minus y is equal to zero then y is common let's factor y out we have y into y square minus y minus one is equal to zero and from here we have two cases y is equal to zero or then y square minus y minus one is equal to zero then we've gotten this solution for y to be equal to zero. Then for here, this is a quadratic equation. And let's solve this using quadratic general formula. And in our quadratic general formula, we have s is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of what? b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Then from the given equation, we have y is equal to what? Minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. From our equation, y squared minus y minus 1 equal to 0. a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 1 and c is equal to minus 1 let's substitute we have minus into minus 1 plus or minus square root of what minus 1 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by minus 1 over 2 multiplied by 1 then we have y is equal to minus times minus this is one plus or minus square root of minus one square that is one minus four times one times minus one this is plus four then over two that is two times one that is two we have y is equal to one plus or minus square root of what 4 plus 1 that is 5 over 2 then we have y is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 or y is equal to 1 minus square root of what 5 over Two. Now, in this case, our answers are we have y equal to zero, 
then y is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2 and y is equal to 1 minus root 5 over 2. Now, these are the value of y. Remember that we say 3 raised to the power s is equal to what? y. Then anywhere you see y, you substitute. We have the first case, 3 raised to the power s is equal to 0. This is the first one. Then we have the second case, 3 raised to the power s is equal to what? 1 minus root 5 over 2. And we have the third case, 3 raised to the power s is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2. Now, we can see that from this one, t raised to the power s is equal to 0. This one has no solution. No solution. Then, let's look at this. This is t raised to the power s and this one is less than 0, then we conclude that this one has no real solution. No real solution. Now, the only real solution we have is what? T raised to power x is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2. This one has real solution. So let's work with this. This is the only real solution that we have. Then in this case, we are going to work with this. Let's take the log of both sides. That is log t raised to the power s is equal to what? Log 1 plus root 5 over 2. Then we have s log t is equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2. Now let's divide both sides by log t We have s log t over log t is equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2. Then this one will cancel this. Then this is also over log t. Now we have s is equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2, then over log t. Therefore, our final answer become s is equal to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 base 3. That is our final answer. If you